This is Jenna. She's a mom of three, and 10 years ago, she invented the gender reveal party. Now, she regrets it. I went to her home in California to find out why. Hi, Jenna. Hello, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so you are credited with throwing the first ever gender reveal party. For my straight single male audience, all three of them, can you explain what a gender reveal party is? So it's actually an anatomical sex reveal, but nobody wants to say that. It sounds too dirty. Ah. So what happens is you find out the anatomy of the baby, but instead of finding out in the doctor's office the way people used to do, you find out with your family members together. So in 2008, I asked the OBGYN to just stuff the information in an envelope. Don't tell us. And I had my whole family over. We baked two cakes. My sister-in-law peeked in the envelope, brought the cake out. We cut into it and... It's pink. Yeah. There were tears. And people freak out. Yeah. Um, no offense, but that sounds like the basic bitch of gender reveal parties Absolutely. compared to what people do now. <laughs> yeah. So 10 years ago, your story gets picked up by the bump. It goes everywhere. People kinda... read about your party and they start doing their own. Yeah. Since then, the gender reveal party craze has exploded. Yeah. Here are just a few of the craziest parties I've found. You tell me what you think. Hiring the local fire department to spray reveal the sex to you <laughs> via fire hose. <laughs> well, what happens if there's a fire at that moment? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, fend for yourself. <laughs> yeah. or, or it's, a boy. it's a boy. <laughs> Having your hairstylist dye your hair pink or blue, then removing a towel <laughs> to reveal whether you're having a boy or a girl. Wow, okay. Dropping thousands of pink or blue ping pong balls out of an airplane to land on your friends and family. Why would you do that? <laughs> I think it's to get a million views on YouTube. Oh, man. Okay, this is my personal favorite. Wrestling an alligator, then throwing a watermelon full of pink or blue jello at the alligator, thereby revealing the sex of your baby. I don't like that. And also, I've noticed the blue pops out and the dad is like, yeah, macho. It's like, well, what were you gonna do if it was pink? No! <laughs> I don't know, I don't like that. You are the woman who invented the gender reveal party. You are single-handedly responsible for all of this and now you regret it. Uh, you know, I do, I do regret it a little bit. In 2008, we decided to have this party for our baby and plot twist, uh, the baby is non-conforming in a lot of ways. She's a girl and she likes to wear suits. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is the girl whose gender reveal had a pink cake? Yes. The girl whose gender reveal had a pink cake, she likes her blue suits. She's 10 and not a tutu in sight. I just think it's so cool that at 10 years old, she has the confidence to wear what she wants. She doesn't feel like she has to conform to a certain stereotype of what it means to be a girl. Oh my God, yeah. One thing I love about her is her resiliency and, and her confidence. Sometimes she has been mistaken for a boy before and she doesn't let it bother her. Yeah. She's like, oh, no, I'm a girl. She just keeps around going. I just think she's so cool. <laughs> I, at 10 Thanks. years old, I would not have had that. Oh, me neither, oh my God. So you've had a change of heart. You know, I don't think I regret necessarily the party, but the problem is is that the parties have become so aggressive and so crazy. What's happening is that you're centering gender and you're making it the most important part of this new person and it's really not. If somebody handed you that baby and you didn't look for two hours if it was a boy or a girl, that would actually be fine. Every mother will tell you the same thing. You get that baby, you just love your baby. That baby. You know, and yeah. so nobody's denying anatomy. I'm not denying anatomy. There's just such an extreme, this is how to be girly, and this is how to be a man. Your child may end up feeling that the way they need to earn their love from you is to perform a certain version of femininity, to, to perform masculinity, and it's just, we don't wanna do that to our kids. We love them no matter what. Right. And when a dad shoots a shotgun that explodes blue and everybody cheers and suddenly there's this pressure on that child, even if they haven't been born yet, to be a man. Absolutely. It's just, it puts in your mind, I'm not good enough unless I fit into this like really narrow extreme. The other thing too is that gender is different than sex. Yeah, gender is more, you know, your expression of yourself. It, you know, you're more in charge of your gender, basically. You really can't know somebody's gender just by looking at their anatomy. So, 
in your view, gender reveal parties, just by their very existence, they're putting a message out into the world that says, this is what it means to be a boy and this is what it means to be a girl. Absolutely. And for the kids out there, the adults, the people out there who still aren't sure where they fit in, that's a problematic message. Yes, absolutely. Bingo. <laughs> I like to think of myself as a pretty woke lady, but I have thrown two gender reveal parties at my home in the last three years for my friends. I baked two little sets of blue cupcakes, and now I feel like don't, a little bit ignorant. Don't, not at all, because we weren't thinking like that. I can't beat myself up for what we didn't know in 2008, and this is just now, we're just not thinking about this and talking about this. Right. We know better, we do better, but how do you think I feel? I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, thank you. I it's mean, true. you are fine. I'm and not the reason yeah. that people are wrestling no, alligators. You're not the reason people you are. are. Yeah. <laughs> I am. What do you say to the people who are like, whoa, 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 this is all political correctness getting so out of control. What's wrong with having a little fun, a little touchdowns or tutu celebration over my child who hasn't even been born yet? I don't want to shame parents. Any, any parent is doing their best. I just say it is harmful to a certain segment of our population. Population. So maybe just pivot to other kinds of parties. We could have a pregnancy reveal party. Have a sex reveal party. A genital Absolutely. reveal. Bring out a big penis cake, you know? <laughs> a big vagina cake. Reuse your bachelorette party decorations. Literally, <laughs> I ate a big penis at a bachelorette party the other week. <laughs> there you go. Cake. A penis cake. <laughs> I have boys. I dress them in boy clothes. I let them play with trucks and balls and boy toys because I think that they like it. Sure. Is that bad? No. My other two girls are like the girly, girly, girly girls. Oh. Oh my God. The one of their bedrooms is pink, the other one is purple. I mean, you let kids gravitate to what they want. I just check in with my kids and just let them know, you know what? I love you. You are amazing no matter what, you know? So it's a matter so, of being open with your child and of listening to your child, of yeah. taking cues from your child. Yeah. And then your child will realize that they might have the space to become who they feel they are. Yeah, but if they start exhibiting, you know, their own personality and going in a certain direction, just let them be free to play with all the toys. And if they tell you continuously what, the way they're feeling, just listen. And that's what any feeling your child is having. They have to feel heard. We have to feel heard by our family. Um, I just want to say thank you because by sharing your story, you're making a lot of people, myself included, think twice about not just gender reveals, but gender identity and how we raise our children. And I cannot thank you enough for that. Thank you. Have better parties, people. I mean, I think what we're really going to do by having this conversation is up the sales of penis cakes. <laughs> and the we're world can thank us for that. We're doing our part for the economy. We are. Thank you so much. <laughs>